So like we said, uh, we are the Spoiler Kings, Tink Kramer and Will. Um, and we are doing the 355 today, which is uh, kind of a, it's been out for a little while. I want to say, when did it come out? October? November? Uh, I think it was November? Um, yeah, that sounds about right. Wait, you said the but, 355? It came out this year. Yeah. Oh, it came out, yeah, January 7th. Okay. January. Um, it was recent. Okay, so oh, man, it felt like it's it's been longer than that. Um, True, but yeah, so so nothing really big came out this year, you know, or this week, I should say. Um, nothing mm-hmm. big came out this week, so we were kind of figuring out what we're gonna do. So we decided to do this one, you know, some uh, some girl action, kicking butt kind of stuff. Hey, hey, guys, what is up? What is up? And also, here you go. I don't probably say a lot. Go streamyard.com slash Facebook if you wanna you want StreamYard to see your uh your face and your name. Mm-hmm. But um cool. Do you want me to read what this one's about real quick? Yes, please. Yeah. No problem. Um but let's see. So it came out oh what, two weeks ago? No, three? Oh my god, at the beginning of the month. Um, mm-hmm. It's on demand now, which is kind of why we watched it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I was like, "Ah, oh, we'll go to the theater," and I'm like, "Yeah, not really." So, you know, especially you know, I think we we all got sick around that same time too, so <laughs> that, that kind of ruined everything too. Um, but <laughs> it is what it is. But so this one, this trailer is not gonna have any sound, so no. I have to cut it out. But um, I'll tell you right here. So the three thirty, the three five five is a American spy, I guess, quote, American spy. Um, and uh, so the group is of international spies. They work, they come together and work together to stop a terrorist organization from, st- I guess, starting World War Three. because, I mean, at one point, uh, Lupita's character is like, oh, uh, Lupita's okay. character was, uh, that's all good, um, was saying like, it wouldn't even be World War Three because it would end before anybody else knew it started, kind of thing. So I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> um, but um, but yeah, the title is derived, which is kind of cool, from Agent Three Five Five, which was a code name of a female spy for the Patriots during the American Revolution. So I thought that was kind of interesting, and I did not know that because I was like, why are they why are they called the Three Five Five? So right. they kind of like a, like a hard like real uh, fact. You know, going back to like uh, the American Revolution, so mm-hmm. it was cool. A lot of action, uh, very action, uh, female oriented. You have, uh, I believe, Lupita was from Britain, I think. Um, I think so. You know, and then you had Columbia for Pelini Cruz. Uh, Diane Kroger was from Germany, and uh, Jessica Chastain was American. So, and they all worked for their spy agencies. You know, to that. So a bunch of like random stuff happened and, and cool stuff and uh and some kind of questionable stuff. Um but yeah, I mean action movie can't go wrong and a bunch of women kicking butts. So uh we figured why not give this one a shot. But mm-hmm. but that's it in a nutshell. Um you just want to start right off the bat. What are some of the things you liked? Ooh, without spoiling too much, we can get to those a little bit later. Um, I did like the twists and turns in this movie. I didn't see some of these things coming. Um, there's certain deaths that like really struck, really struck a heartstring. And, Mm -hmm. um, just overall story was just easy to follow. It was nice and action packed. We saw some nice choreography with some fight scenes, um, and just uh, you know, the cast was pretty dope. I, I was happy to see uh, yeah. Sebastian Stan um, plays Nick Fowler. He's really, mm-hmm. really good in this one. Um, he gets real deep with like how much he can act. He was like acting in a movie, and he was acting <laughs> in his act. Like, yeah, we'll yeah. get to that. But yeah, um, yeah. And then we also got um, I cannot pronounce her name. Let's see if I can pull up Google to Lupita Nyong'o. Excuse me if uh, I said wrong. Dun- 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 yep. Um, she yeah. played great. Um, I'm just a fan. Like, of everyone that was in this, 
I was happy. Um, the therapist, Penelope Cruz, plays Graciela. Graciela. Mm-hmm. Um, she like really popped out of her shell and really surprised us in the movie without giving up too her much. Ca- her character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so um, we got some surprise, you know, turns in the movie and all those plot twists like were great. It had me on edge. I, I wasn't expecting much going into this movie um, yeah. because I just, I-, I didn't see too much hype for the movie. Um, but I, I just knew action packed, you know, it was something that was in my, you know, my cup of tea, these guys, <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, cool scenes, cool, cool kill scenes. Uh, what about you? What did you like about this movie? What stood out? Um, I mean, definitely the cast. I mean, I didn't even know Sebastian Stan, Sebastian Stan was even in the movie until the, you know, they first showed him like, my, my, oh, he's, he's in this. I'm like, okay. Uh-huh. Um, so that's good. And I, I'm I'm a fan of him. He's I think he's a he's a pretty good actor. You know, he's definitely um he knows he knows how to do some good uh stuff. Um but there was a lot of things that were that 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 got me. I'm like, oh I didn't see that coming. But then there was probably just as many things that I saw coming. Like mm-hmm. I'm like, oh I know that, I know I know him, I know her, I know what's going on. It was like but it was a good combination of both. Like they kind of like threw you off guard with like made certain things obvious to make other things like not so obvious, you know, so it was like, it was like a decoy, like, like, Oh, here, here's the flashy, like thing. You think you figured it out. And then at the end they have like a, a some, a big old, big old more twist. So mm-hmm. that was definitely pretty, pretty good. But the, the cast was definitely um, like hardcore. Um, powerhouse i mean i haven't seen penelope cruz in anything in a long time right (laughs) like like you know a big a big movie you know like this but i mean obviously jessica chastain is is everywhere lately um i want to get a little bit more into her character about the bad stuff but penelope cruz i thought was pretty good um because she wasn't a spy you know she was more like i used to therapist so she kind of had to learn to become a badass where like (laughs) diana kruger was uh, marie marie um was already a badass lupita's character was already a badass so um but yeah that's cool and then i also didn't know until i started looking up uh diane kruger who played marie she's married to uh um uh norman reedus norman reedus uh you talking about yeah. daryl from the walking dead yeah you said who yeah you said... Um, the, the the german spy really the german spy yeah uh, so okay that's dope. Yeah. yeah 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 so, yeah, so I mean that was cool, but yeah, they had some other big ones in there. Edgar uh, Ramirez, I, I, that I was kind of like, I like him, but I, his role was kind of sh- cut short. I think, it was yeah, like, eh. yeah, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was a about it. I mean, the the main guys were the big actors. Everyone else was like a nobody. It's like they spent all their money <laughs> on like these five or six big actors. And then everyone else was like, "All right, hey, you off the street, like <laughs> come over here, off the street, get shot." <laughs> yeah, but yeah, because I mean, there's so many people dying in this film. Like, holy crap, you know. Um, but, but the whole movie was was kind of, I don't say boring. It's kind of bland until the mm-hmm. very end. A big, obviously, it's a it's a it's an action movie, so there's gonna be a big fight scene. Um, the big fight scene was pretty awesome. I got to give it that. Everything else was kind of, meh, you know, but that that big fight scene got me in. That's where I put my phone down. And I'm like, oh, what, what? Look at that. That's cool, you know. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Any scenes that were really good for you? Um, yeah. Um, without giving up too much, the scene that really like had me at the edge of my seat and where I screamed at my TV <laughs> at, was when um there was like some hostages. And the bad person was like, hey, if you don't give me what I want, mm. this person gets it. And boom, boom, man, yeah. it got me. And I was like, no, you mother. I was just losing <laughs> it, man. <laughs> I was yeah. so invested at that point. And which is, of course, towards the end. Um, that was like maybe three quarters of the way uh, through yeah. the movie. That was a really big yeah. scene. Um, another. It was really right great before scene. the big fight scene. It's kind of like Pretty what much. motivated the big fight scene. I know which one, I did. know what part you're talking about. That part was awesome. 
Uh, that's probably I mean, like sad, the climax but... of the movie. Yeah, it was really yeah. sad. I think that was like the climax yeah. of the movie. R- really well done. Um, another really good one was the, the sneakiness of like passing the thing that everybody wants. The thing that everybody wants is a drive. Um, what is a drive? It's like a cell phone <laughs> or it's like some kind of smartphone, but it's like really special because it can do yeah. some crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy yeah. stuff. It, it looked um, like it, a really crappy uh, hard drive. Like it legit yeah. looked like something you would get from the dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what it looked like. <laughs> yep. so. um, but yeah, um, the, um, how do you say it? again? Um, another scene, I'm trying to think. Um, I guess you're right. I guess most of the beginning, it wasn't, I wouldn't say bland, but it just was slow paced and it, mm. it still kept me going. Right. Like, I wasn't picking up. Oh yeah, it was. I was gonna lie. I was gonna say I wasn't picking up my cell phone. No, I did. I picked up my cell phone. <laughs> it was on yeah, a couple times. Too. Um, and 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 I, and I want to apologize too to whoever was in this movie. I'm sorry that I did that. Like y'all deserve <laughs> more. <laughs> I'm, I'm I want to really uh, support women and and women empowerment. And this is like one of those movies you kind of have to support, or you should support. Um, for women being badass. Um, let's see. The scene where like uh, Sebastian Stan has like a little romantic little thing, I, I thought that was was nice because it, it made you care about him. Mm-hmm. And I won't say much more from that, but it, I was like, oh, okay, like there, there's some emotional investment. Every time, actually, for almost everyone except for the therapist, um, you kind of saw all the loved ones that like you, you cared about, and I was like, yeah. cool, that's great. That's great for character development. It makes me care for the characters. So, yeah, not nothing, I guess, in particular, but the climax of the movie, really good. Um, the gun shooting scenes, really, really good. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. the little, um, when they were trying to chase down that one bald dude, um, because he, oh. like, did a, a little swap with somebody Which um, room, for the yeah. drive. And I like that. I like, it, it gave me, like, MCU-type vibes, where they're trying to, like, be covert and, and keep... Keep your eye on the target type deal. I, I like that. I, I like the whole spiel. Yeah. What about, what about yeah. you? Um. Yeah. I mean, for me, for me, like you said, everything was kind of, kind of like up and down. There's like you said, there's a lot of times where I grabbed my phone. And it was like, you know, playing my game or something. Really, you know, like, but like <laughs> yeah. the end, the, the 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 climax, the big fight scene at the end is is I put it down like right when you said when you know the 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 big emotional part happened. That, uh, that I, I I didn't pick up my phone the rest of the movie, you know, but it just sucked. It mm-hmm. wasn't towards the end of the movie, but but that that part was very well done. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it for like a lot of the good stuff for me, you know, like the yeah. the, f- the fighting at the end was the best. But yeah, um, I don't know, anything else before we get into the bad stuff? Mm, good cinematography. Um. I want to yeah. say, um, you know, background imagery was on point. Um, yeah. That's about it. Because yeah, they were yeah. traveling the world. You know, they were in Morocco yeah. and in Paris. And then uh, I don't even know where else they were. In China. In, uh, they were in China. China. So, like, that, that was pretty good. They had a uh, good uh, back to back in America. So they were bouncing around a lot. And they uh, it, was, it was good. Like, it, you knew where you were all the time you didn't feel like wait i thought you were here you know now you're here like i thought that was that was well done it was well paced i'll give it that it was very well paced you know sometimes those kind of movies tend to bounce around a lot you know and and kind of lose itself in in the action um true it didn't it didn't as much like you always knew what was going on for me is like i didn't always know why things were going on but i knew what was going on you know yeah. so and that's kind of like the whole suspense part of, i guess of it but, but yeah, it was it was well paced. I gotta give it that. You know, two what was it two hours? I believe it was about two hour movie. Two hours twenty minutes. Man, no way! Two hours twenty minutes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. At the halfway point, I had to do a little lap, uh, fix up another yeah. little snack for myself, and then come yeah. back and resume. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I was like that too. I was like, because I had to pause and let the, let my dog out and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So and then I like so I, I you know got some more water and, and you know and I sat back down. 
So that's why maybe it didn't feel like it. That's why a movie like that didn't feel like two, almost two and a half hours. Rather, I think in the in the theater, it like it would have felt long. Yeah. You know, at home, this didn't feel long for me. Mm-hmm. So, um, but well, let's go. On, let's get into some of the things that we didn't like, or some of the things you didn't like. Mm, things I didn't like. Um, hmm. What did I like about this movie? Oh, I know. Um, some things were just not believable to me, and I I don't want to come off sexist. I don't want to come off misogynistic, right? But if you take a look at the cast, right, you see their arms. You see what they're working with muscle-wise. Again, nothing against women that are more on the petite side, but if you're more petite, how... I know you can have great technique, right? You don't... Hoist Gracie all taught us in UFC 1 that you could be the small guy or be the small person and still whoop somebody's ass. I totally get that point, right? None of these women use Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So <laughs> they didn't utilize, you know, their their size in a good way. They didn't utilize speed, kind of. Um, but just the fact that, like, they were muscling down super big dudes, yeah. it just, it, it, it struck me like, huh? Like, hold on. Like, I was hoping for a few things, right? So in this, in this movie women were empowered right they they were badass they knew how to fight and and everything which is great they um they sucked at shooting how many how many times in the <laughs> beginning they kept pew, 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 and then they they you know they moved to a different area keep shooting and they kept missing <laughs> i could have yeah. sworn i was watching a star wars movie with some stormtroopers but yeah. i was like come on you guys are all like spies and secret agents and you can't hit your mark a mark that's not even moving that fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that it just that kind of ruined it for me a little bit. Um, some of the shooting, um, there were cool shooting scenes, right? The the look of it looked great, but just miss, 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 another miss, 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 and then <laughs> and then just <laughs> it just it. I don't know. It it rubbed me the wrong way for sure. Um, yeah. I was I don't know if I would consider this a bad thing, but I was pissed off. At some of the deaths. I'm like, why'd you do that? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it made me care, which is a good thing and kept me engaged. But mm. like some deaths maybe they didn't have to happen, in my opinion. Um like what big, about the you? big deaths? Yeah, some of the big which, deaths. I, I, so, I don't know. We'll, yeah, spoiler. We'll, we'll talk spoiler. Because I'm I'm curious to which you know which one like you like you're talking about. Okay, so towards the climax, right? Um, uh-huh. when all the loved ones are all uh, lock, you know locked up. Yeah, yeah. They didn't kill the freaking therapist family, but they killed like everybody yeah. else's. I'm yeah. like, what what was the like what was that about? And then and then when they yeah. did kill him, right? When they killed the loved ones, um like everyone took it differently and it just threw me off. I'm like one person i forgot who it was i think it was the german one she yeah. came off like like oh um like damn that, that's crazy she and then the one um that played lupita i'm sorry khadija or Lu- Dija, oh. um she acted she's the only one that i felt like acted appropriately <laughs> in my opinion yeah i mean i mean <laughs> uh, uh um what was it uh Grace, uh, Gracelia, Gracella, what was her name? Penelope Cruz's yes. character. Um, mm-hmm. I think she was, she acted appropriately, but like her, her family never died. But I mean, she, you know, seeing a gun to your family's, you know, head, you know, you'll freak out and start screaming and, and begging and pleading for anything, you know? So right. that was okay. But, you know, for, uh, for Lupita's character, yeah, I mean, I, that, that, and- that scene did bother me too. Because then Marie, the, the German, Turns around and hugs Penelope Cruz. I was like, "Her family's alive. Like, <laughs> go, 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 hug the girl who just saw her boyfriend die." I was like, "What the hell?" Right. And then, um, fan, um, that played Lin Mi Shang, um, uh-huh. she, like, she just like, <laughs> she got sad right when her loved one. But I think that was her dad, right? Yeah, it was her dad. But then, like, she just like kneels down. 
And then she's like, oh, can I stand up? And and after her standing up, I'm like, oh, you don't got emotion anymore? Like, well, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah. Maybe she's desensitized. Yeah. She, they didn't give too much background on her. Um, so I don't know. That left me just like weirded out. Like, like, are y'all serious? This is family that he's killed. Yeah. And then and then also it bothered me that with all these loved ones getting tracked down, right? How'd you get them tracked down so well? I thought these are like secret agent spies that you live secret lives. Like, like how did they get to those families as victims? I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, I get like Lupita's character because she was out of the game, so she was wasn't really yes. hiding. And that then uh, Penelope Cruz's character was just a, a, a um, psychologist. So she wasn't right. like agent, so she didn't need to hide it like that. So I get mm. those. The one I did got me was like um, Mar- Marie's boss. It wasn't even her dad or anybody. It was her boss, like from from the <laughs> German CIA, whatever the, for whatever it was called. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. It was like, I was like, he's literally a, the boss of spies how did he get caught yeah. that was my thing i was like what and then yep. they, they didn't even tell you how they even found a secret base in china you know where uh <laughs> where uh where fans i guess organization was staying at right it was like how how did they find them there like it makes no sense so there yeah i agree there was a lot of that kind of like what like <laughs> but i don't know Anything, what else man what else you got? Mm, stuff that I disliked. Um, I mean, I, I kind of maybe that's the the action movie trope that you never run out of ammo. I never seen him like reload or something. Like, mm. but that's every action movie, and not just you know this one. Other movies when they don't reload or I don't see like an extra clip or something. Yeah, it just it it I don't know what to say. It ruins it for me. But it's, it's like, huh? Like, damn, yeah. you guys got unlimited ammo. <laughs> there was a part of it in the. In the climax, though, where uh, what's her name? Uh, Jessica Chastain's character, um, like she yells, "I'm out!" And then like Marie just oh, like man. grabbed the gun off the ground and just tossed it to her. I was like, you know, it's not <laughs> universal, right? It's like <laughs> like the bullets in that gun that she just randomly grabbed. Like, how do you know what gun she was shooting when she just turned a corner? It's like what you right. know. It's like <laughs> so, That's yeah. Funny. So like, at, at least she asked for ammo, but it's like. What kind? What do you need? Like, <laughs> yeah, for real. You know? That's yeah. funny. So, but that's it for like me. What about you? you? Yeah. Um. So yeah, definitely a lot. Of, a lot of that same kind of stuff bothered me. The, the, but there was a lot of parts of it that were just like silly, and and didn't make any sense. So like right at the beginning is right at the beginning. I don't know if it's really a spoiler. Um, the main bad guy, you know, the big bad guy, um, goes to Colombia to get the drive, right? And I guess it's uh, like a Columbia drug lord. And right off the bat, he goes, oh, the world doesn't care about drugs anymore. It's all about this new technology. I was like, dude, it's 2022, man. It was like, we're not in the 80s where the world like hinges on a on a floppy disk. You know what I mean? It's like, we all know True. technology can do some bad stuff. <laughs> it's, not yeah, like, it's not new. It's like, it's, yeah, I felt that was like such a boomer kind of thing. It was like, did you hear about the internet it was like it was like yeah no shit and then his son's there like typing and like uh blow up plane i was like what so so i thought that was kind of like like funny it was like i don't know you know and then uh then in that same scene when you know the main bad guy starts to kill everybody and wants to drive he's literally like an arms reach away and shoots the boy and then was about to grab the drive and then for some reason like the columbia uh, police you know started coming in and started shooting and then one of the dudes pulled the main bad guy away i was like let him grab it i'm like that's the whole point you're there like what yeah yeah and and that that wasn't the only time that happened at the end too when lupita is like like right there like it's like in reach you know it's on the floor the drive and all she had to do was go grab it like as soon as she like went to grab it, it was like pow, 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 like a bunch of gunshots. I was like, "You're getting shot at!" Like you're telling me you can like, run through a hallway and and not get shot, but you can't reach two feet in front of you and grab a drive that's on the floor. <laughs> so, and I hate that. Such a that's such a. It's not just this movie. That's just like a very action movie. Like like oh, let me grab that, and then as soon as you grab it, it's like Looney Tunes, you know, and then like a bazillion freaking gunshots come flying at you. Of like, course. But that thing yeah. doesn't get shot. So, 
Uh, I mean, it was like silly things like that. And then same thing with the with the fighting. the The shooting was really good. The hand to hand combat, it wasn't, it wasn't really believable. You know, like Jessica Chastain is a is a really good actress. I think she does some good stuff. Um, threatening is not one. She is not a threatening <laughs> kind of person. She tried no. to be. She tried to be. She was not. Um, uh, Diane Kruger, Marie, the German one. She was a little threatening. You know, yeah. But none of them were really like, you know, when like they walk into the room, no one's shitting bricks kind of thing. It was like, right. I don't know. You know, and Jessica Chastain was supposed to be like the most badass out of them all kind of thing. And she had this big fight scene at the end, like hand to hand combat against this guy. And uh, it, there's a part she she went to go walk out the door and he grabbed her, which I'm like, why would you just try to walk past him? When the bad guy just told told the 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 you know him like don't let her leave, what he's just gonna let you walk and like bust him in the head, get the first shot. No, she just like yeah. oh, I'm gonna walk out. He's like and he grabs her and pushes her back, and then like she punches him and kicks him, and then she tries to walk out again, and he grabs her again. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> like, why are you so <laughs> stupid? Like, get rid yeah. of him first, and then it became a big fight scene where it was just kind of, I'm like, eh. You know, because there's a part he grabs her by the neck and pushes her against the the thing. I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, you need to know exactly where to hit to get him to let go. Because like, he was a big dude, and like he, his hand wrapped around her neck. It wasn't just it like did. oh, right. Into, no, it was like he could, if he really wanted to, he could have touched fingers behind you know her neck. Like, I mean, she's super super tiny. I think she's like five four. You know, like a hundred something pounds, you know, max, like maybe 115. Right. You know, so and, and this dude's like looks like he's like 250, all muscle. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> so she beats his ass. She gets beat up too, which which is kind of I I like that. You know, it wasn't like she wasn't a superman, like she still got her ass beat. Um, but yeah, that was like the, the biggest part. And there was just a lot of like silliness of the technology of how crazy it was. It's like, oh, we'll press a button and planes crash and this happens. I was like, okay. Like, yeah. You know. I don't know if they um, know this, but when planes lose communications from, from what is it? The, the towers, tower. they can manually buy that motherfucker. <laughs> I know. It's, right? not an, Unless- it's not an EMP. Like whatever it looked like, it, it seemed like an EMP, but not really, because when um, Deja, right, or whatever her name is, yeah. um, when she was using her phone or something, I think they were trying to use her. I don't know what. Like, her phone just glitched out. It didn't, like, explode. Yeah. It didn't stop the electricity from happening. Yeah. So um, I was like, what? Like, it, it threw me off. The only, I want to say real quick before you continue, the only one that did intimidate me as one of the female leads was um, Lean Me Shang. The, yeah. And she's like the one that was the most mysterious. Maybe that's why she was more intimidating because I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't know what's what's going on with her. She yeah. didn't get to, yo, yo. Hey. I feel like that's Randy. <laughs> I do. Too. No one calls this boys. <laughs> is yeah. Randy? I did shave. Yo, I know. Look at your I know. Face. The wife is pissed. She's so pissed. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see like you walk out of the bathroom. She just like smacks you. Like like oh, you don't <laughs> like any hair? Bam. It's like you were almost there. No. (laughs) (laughs) I'll just kidding. Um, But yeah, she Um, she was the most intimidating and I didn't even see her fight. Yeah. (laughs) She 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 fought like there's a part where she's in the at the Mm -hmm. the the end fight scene where she she grabs a lamp and somehow it becomes like like a staff. (laughs) Like it's not hollow. Yeah. She grabs it and it starts like like whipping it around and shit. Like that was super cool. You know, also it's like you, you you grab the lamp stick you know it's like you hit somebody once and that thing bends you know it's like yeah and she right. was whooping people with it so that was kind of cool uh <laughs> you look like a baby yeah <laughs> i was gonna say hi to you guys but seeing you and <laughs> start start laughing and so um, she's like hi oh. hi hi sir and, yeah. and young baby how you doing and then if you want to show your name so you go to Streamyard.com slash Facebook, and then Streamyard will ask for access to your Facebook name and picture. And then once you accept it, uh, you should be able to see your uh, name and your uh, picture. Thanks. So, 
Oh, there we go. Just, just started asking. Getting streamer permission, but it's still uh um still saying saying to do it. Mm. Maybe exit the stream, come back in, something like that. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, tank. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Weird. Yeah. That uh, I watched it. <laughs> Holy, somebody, somebody's. <laughs> you always see his Facebook user. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I guess because we never had a problem with that before because we always did it to a page and not a group. But so since now we're doing it to a group, you have to ask for permission, which is. It's what weird. if we do this do for next time? What if we post it to the page, like it streams there, and then we grab that link and, and throw it, it on? Yep. I like that. Something like that. I like that. Yeah, we'll, we could do that. Next time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, next time. We'll do that Monday. I like it. Um, so, yeah, man. Yeah, it was just, it was a, a lot of stuff that you really had to, like, kind of, like, think about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> the movie I told her to watch. I'm a, Ooh, Randy. Yep. Was that <laughs> Martyrs? The movie Martyrs? Um, on my list we right can, here. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to watch that movie again. So I, I, I'm like, oh, we can talk about it, but I, I don't remember the details, and I mm. really don't want to watch it again. <laughs> <So> <laughs> like uh, Cabin wow. in the Woods, we we can do Cabin in the Woods. I'll watch that again. That was that was an awesome movie. Um, I, I'm I really don't want to watch Martyrs again. <laughs> um, oh yeah. So <clears throat> let's finish this one up real quick. Um, so three five five. Anything else? Good or bad? Before we get into our uh, reviews, nah, nah, I got nothing else. Yeah, yeah, same. It was it was a a fun action movie. Um, you know, spy action. I couldn't sleep last night. Yes, martyrs. Yeah, mm, he couldn't it, sleep. It oh, dude, <laughs> when I first saw it, it, it messed me up for like a week. Yeah, like it, images get stuck in your head, and that's all you see, and you're like, oh, why? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that the I'm one that's you, uh, um, in French? You said like it's yes. subtitles. It's, it's French. Okay. And it's okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, America. There's a U.S. remake, and it's n not even close. Not even close. I won't even touch like, that one. Man. Nah, the yeah, the best one is the French one by far. Um, but also, I don't want to see it again. <laughs> All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's rate this thing and uh, let's close this one out. Then we can let's do it. Hang out. So, so, over here at the Nerd Huddle, us two spoiler kings like to review movies a little bit differently. We don't do any five point stars or anything like that. We're not game related. Just kidding. But um, we like to review movies either one of three ways, which you're going to see right down below. Where are they going to rate this? A watch now, a watch later, or a watch never. So, a watch now means drop everything and go see this movie and spend all your money towards this. Watch later means ah you can put it on the back burner and watch it on the fly maybe on streaming, and then a watch never means don't give this movie any of your your money don't do it it's that bad. Um, so with that being said, I always not always but you mostly go first. Let me go first this time if you don't mind. Go for it. So, um, because <laughs> we 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 saw that um the three five five was a movie a couple weeks ago. Um, we saw the trailer and it didn't really like impact us that much where we were like, no, we got to see this right now. And so the trailer didn't really get us too much. You know, after watching it, I'm going to go ahead and confirm that it's still a watch later. And that's like what we did. We watched it later. We didn't watch it when it came out. So, yeah, it's it's a confirmation. This is a watch later only for a few inconsistencies that it had that kind of ruined it for me, at least. Um, it had a great cast. Everything was very well done, but the the stormtroopers type shots kind of did it for me. And then, um, and then I, you know, women don't have to be super, you know, beefed up to be able to fight. I'm not saying that, right? But if you look at these women here, nah, fam, they look like twigs. And no, again, nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with being petite. I'm not trying to body shame, right? But just you can't have some of these fighting scenes they just don't make sense they don't they're not logically right 
So for that, um, and then so, some of the slow pace, I wouldn't call it slow pace, but from the slow jump, right? When it got mm-hmm. to the climax, great. They would have kept that same energy from climax to end in the beginning of the movie. Oh, that would have been great. Although they did start with action right off the bat, which was a nice win yeah. for them. Um, but for that, watch later. What about you, Tank? Uh, yeah, I'm right there with you, man. Um, the same thing. The trailer was kind of like, oh, okay. But you know, with with <clears throat> um, it coming out and me being sick and, and with COVID and everything, <laughs> I'm like, ah, I'm not gonna risk it. So when when we finally watched it, I was wondering, I'm like, is this gonna be a movie I regret not seeing in the theater? Because sometimes mm-hmm. action movies can be like, oh shit you know it's better to see it in a theater um this one True. wasn't man um i it, this is the best spot is to watch it at home um it's it's not a never but it, it's it's definitely on a lower end later you know so it's mm-hmm. like there's other stuff you can watch you know maybe watch it um if you you, you know you're you're kind of have nothing else to watch and you want to watch a good like action movie maybe um but some of the plot was was easy to get you know there's a few parts where you're like oh cool i didn't you know look at that little twist but for the most part i was like you know it it follows like basic movie rules you know like if you know the scream rules just minus the the horror part of it i mean <laughs> i mean that's just movie ru- rules that's just not horror film rules so right, right. off the bat i'm like oh i know it's him you know, i know it's her i know what's going on you know and um but it didn't ruin it, you know, but it just kind of was, wasn't, it was very, like, I think I said before, bland, it was very bland until the end with the big, big action scene at the end was, uh, was very well done. Very well done. Um, but okay. yeah, definitely give it a later, give it a later. Um, so, uh, we also do Ron tomatoes. Um, <laughs> and, uh, we were trying to figure out like what to watch this week. And I think I sent the, sent you a picture of, the score around tomatoes and <laughs> oh boy oh boy so so the tomato meter is at 25 percent, which means the critics wow. the critics gave it a 25 percent. um the audience gave it an 86 so normal people liked it the <laughs> critics did not like it it was not mm. like, I, i'm i'm I, I think it's way better than 25 percent. it's not as good as 86 percent yeah i you know it's 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 somewhere i'll say 60 ish 50 to 60 ish right there i don't know about you but yeah one's really low and one's really high (laughs) so (laughs) so i mean yeah that's that's where ron tomatoes kind of put it at but it was fun it was it was it was fun had some issues but it was was a fun one and it was good seeing like some of these actresses uh like penelope cruz like i said I don't remember the last time I saw her. Besides Vanilla Sky, <laughs> Vanilla Sky was probably with Tom Cruise. It was the last time I remember seeing anything with her in it. It was showing that she was in Pirates of the Caribbean. Do you remember her in there? In uh, not the original one. It was like one of the newer ones. Once Care oh. Knightley stopped being in it and stuff like that. Um, okay. Yep. She was in it, but I don't, by then I stopped. I stopped really watching it. You know, and a lot of the other stuff I really don't. I mean, she was in Blow, but that was also like her peak you know um because blow and vanilla sky both came out the same years so and yeah 2001 was really the last time um i saw her which is kind of you know she was in zoolander yeah crap you know so really it's been like 21 years since i seen penelope cruz in anything good and resurrected um, huh that's awesome <laughs> yeah yeah i'm sure she was in some like smaller things here and there like but yeah for the most part um cool man yeah, that's about it. Um, bring this down. What we got? Uh, so it looks like this is Randy because I'm I have the Facebook up. You know, that ending though. I uh, she's talking about martyrs. The ending yeah. of martyrs. Yeah, the the ending of martyrs was really good. Really good. <laughs> you got to touch yeah. your head back that's pretty great. far. To <laughs> 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 it's, it, it is. It's really good. But man, it yeah, it, it messes you up. It makes you think, and you're like, wait, what? What? You know, it's like, mm. yeah, it's freaky movie, man. Freaky movie. Um, maybe one day we'll <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that uh, on the stream. Um, can't show that trailer. I probably could show the trailer. Is it too bad? Damn. Um, 
Not even the trailer. That's, that's what you know. Movies that. No, nah, I, I think the trailer is not too bad, but the trailer really doesn't show anything. Now that I think about oh. it. There you go. So, yeah. It was, yeah, sorry, that was like 15 minutes ago. Yeah, we we're trying to finish finish up that movie. Um. Uh. Well, anything else? And we'll uh we'll close out the the review. And anybody watching live will just hang out for a little bit. And we got the giveaway. Too. You want to spoil this movie? We are the spoiled kings. Yeah. Well, what what, what else do we got to talk about? Um, the bad guy. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. So if you're watching right now, Yo. can you hit him with the with the? <laughs> Maybe even the spoilers on the bottom. So if you're watching now, go ahead, leave, leave. Let, give us a like, okay. follow, share, all that good stuff. We're gonna talk about the um, the actual spoilers. We are the spoiler king, yeah, so we right. gotta we gotta ruin it for you at some point, right? Um. All right. Now that everyone's left the room, right? I think they did too. <laughs> Shit. I see, <laughs> <three years. laughs> now, see you later. Well, um, now that we can spoil it. The bad guy, right? I thought, I thought I knew what was what, right? Sebastian Stan was like a, a teammate for Mace, character Mace, mm. and when he fake dies, he fake dies in the movie. I'm like, we, I know we didn't see his death happen on screen, and so I was like, no, nah, no, nah, he's gonna come back, he's gonna come back, right? That was that was yeah. foreshadowing almost. It was almost predictable, right? Yeah. What I didn't know is that he was gonna go ahead and turn bad, like what? That threw me off. That threw me off. And I was pissed for a little bit. I was like, what? Him? I really I didn't see it coming. That was just me though. Maybe you maybe you saw him being the bad guy. I, yeah. You right did? off the bat. Right off the bat, when they had when when he starts selling her he, he loves her. <laughs> stuff like that. Dude, it's always the boyfriend. It's Damn always it. the boyfriend. Always. I should have learned from Billy Loomis and yeah, Scream. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's always the boyfriend. But I just Again, yeah. great, great, act, great acting there. It fooled me, and it's not that hard to fool me. But like, still, like, <laughs> I, that got me. That got me. Um, and then yeah. anything else, spoiler wise? Um, yeah, the the drive it can like end worlds pretty much. I know we've kind of already talked about it, but like, yeah. six planes went down. A whole grid of electricity goes oh. out and stuff. Well, then that's, the, that's another thing. They thought it was, uh, um, oh, what was her name? Uh, Lynn, uh, Lynn, 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 uh, Lynn Mee's character. Was, yeah, I, uh, thought Fans was character. Lynn, I thought she was the Everyone thought she was the bad guy because mm. there's a scene where she uh, breaks in to Jessica Chastain's boss. Um, was it Merck? Mark? Mark? Well, I forgot what his name was. Um, but she broke into his office and like Wait, she kills him. Yeah, Mark. Yeah. There you go, Marks, and kills him. And you're like, I'm like, oh damn. Then Say you find night. out he was also with the bad guy because she. They're like, oh, why did you, why did you do the plane? She goes, oh, I didn't. Your boss did that, you know. And then you saw like, yeah. which that was a good part where Jessica Chastain, like her, like you saw like her whole world just like came tumbling yeah. down. She's like, oh, mm-hmm. the boss who who I thought was a friend, you know, the guy I just slept with who <laughs> who wanted to be my, you know, be in a relationship. <laughs> winds up being evil you know it was like right yeah you kind of like felt it for her you know she uh she it got hit she got hit hard with uh mate mace that was her name mace i always forget mace um mm-hmm. yeah so she got hit hard with the with the fu stick by everybody <laughs> yeah so yeah so yeah that was that was the big ones so the good guys were the bad guys which also i wasn't sure about marks you know but but mm. part of me because he said he goes oh yeah I I identified him with my own eyes so I was like I'm like see but he's not dead so I wonder did they do something or is he in in on it so Marks I was I was fifty fifty on okay yeah hmm so, yep yeah. that's it that's it for me though yeah spoiler wise you can come back in all people yeah they're yeah. gonna come back but anyways <laughs> also at the very end so at the end of the fight scene. When uh, uh, Penelope Cruz's character shoots Sebastian Stan's character, um, and I was like, "I'm like, how is nobody, especially Lupita, like, how is she not going over there and just unloading an entire magazine yep. <laughs> of bullets yep. into this man? Like, <laughs> they shoot him once, and they're like, oh, it's over.' I was like, 
What? <laughs> I'm like, especially as I mean, I mean, one like like Penelope Cruz should be pretty pissed off because like he was like seconds away from killing your kids and your husband. And then yep. Lu- Lupita should be really pissed off because he killed your boyfriend. It was like mm-hmm. y'all need to go in there and just like do uh do a, like office space and just start like curb stomping him like the printer. I was For like, real? what the hell? And then I, he and then he becomes that the new CIA boss. Which I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> that was just so that was so stupid. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was. And then they don't. They still don't kill him. Yeah, they, bro. they like the- paralyze him, and then she she tells him like, "Oh, you're gonna spend your life in a jail cell across the world." I was like, "Kill the son of a bitch! What the hell?" Seriously, bro, he killed almost all y'all family, and you gonna let him live? Yeah, Shit. yeah. I'm like, not one of you, <laughs> for real. So, yeah. I was hoping Lupita was gonna end them because she cried. Like she, I felt them tears. I felt yeah. those tears. Yeah, she was bawling, she, and like you said, she came out the game, or she. Well, she was out of the game and came back in just to do this. And then as the moment you go back in, you lose your love. Now you have no home to go back to or no normalcy to go back to because now you're just mourning your boyfriend's life. Yeah. Rough. Yeah. Yeah. Especially I was like, I would assume you wouldn't want to kill that guy, you know, right. <laughs> but for nice some reason, let him live. <laughs> you know? so, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that that was it, man. So yeah, it's just I, I always find it funny that there's always like this technology that can like rule everything in the world. I was like, please, like <laughs> if there was some anything that could like be like that, like oh, and that was another quick thing. Why didn't they destroy it the first time? Oh, like they got yeah. it, and they're like, oh, let me give it to my boss in the U.S. And then uh, Marie, the German one, is like. Well, why? Let's take it back to Germany, you know? And she goes, why? Well, my guy's closer. We'll just give it to him. I was like, well, yeah, he's closer because he's a bad guy. But also, it's like, <laughs> just fucking destroy it. Just literally, like, destroy it, rip some parts apart, and then, like, do what they do in the movies. Like, okay, you take this part to your boss. You take this part to your boss. Yep. You know? Yep. And it's like, end of story. No one else had to die. But yet, the thing that can kill the world, they're going to leave in one piece. I thought that was so stupid. And why would you, yeah, why would you want it even in anyone's hands? Someone's yeah. going to try to steal it at some point. Just destroy that. Yeah. And and the guy who designed this, spoiler alert, the guy who designed this drive, they shot him. So no one else can make this thing anymore. No one. Yeah. Only the, the one yeah. guy who invented it, he got shot like first scene in the movie type deal. Yeah. Yeah. And so. And he also, and, yeah. Go ahead. Well, I don't say he also said like, if you try to copy it, it automatically uh, erases itself. Yep. So you can't even copy it. So, yeah. I thought that was kind of... kind of. But then they destroy it at the end anyway. You know, like she like curb stomps it with her high heel or whatever she does. I was like, I'm like, burn it. Shoot it. I'm like, make some parts like like be disintegrated. <laughs> like, just don't stomp it with your high heel. You know? Real, or that was that her other phone? I don't know. I was like, they always do that. I was like, stomping your phone doesn't prevent it from not working like there's still right. some parts in there that you probably, probably get working <laughs> uh, and then uh this is randy she said uh so what about the texas chainsaw massacre movie uh we're, we're reviewing that one right oh yeah we watched the trailer before Thanks. we started doing the movie review um so go check that out or scroll all the way to the beginning um but we are we are doing the texas chainsaw massacre because that looks Oh, excuse me, that looked really good. That looked mm-hmm. really good. February 18th, I think it was. So putting that on the schedule. Um, but yeah, man. Anything else? Nah, that's it for me. Would you watch this again? Last question. <sighs> Probably not. No. Probably not. I'd watch it maybe one more time. I'm not saying this is oh. like a movie I want to wa- keep watching, but I want to give it one more chance and maybe pick up some stuff that I didn't see the first time. Mm-hmm. But overall, like, should should we advise people to watch it again? Probably not. It's a, it's a later, and it it deserves to be seen once. <laughs> That's it for yeah, me. yeah, yeah. For, yeah, for me, it's a way later. Like, oh damn, way later. Yeah. So, but yeah. Um. But yeah, that's it from us for the three five five. So, uh, if you're watching live, hang out with us a little bit more. We're gonna do our giveaway. Um, if you're watching on replay. Um, we appreciate it. Thank you guys. And uh, make sure you sub 
Thank you. Make sure you check out our Facebook group. And uh, yeah, we appreciate everyone hanging out with us. And we'll see you guys next week. Later. Deuces. Oh, 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 oh